Thanks for taking my question and thanks for the great presentation, uh, Mr. Calvert. Um, two questions or, or two points of, of thought that I'd, I'd like to get some feedback on. One again is following on how do we get the vote in rural? Um, I'm, I'm not overly versed in politics and it, it really struck me when you were speaking about um, the economic responsibility that the NDP had to take. I was aware of the divine uh, deficits and, and the, the, but not to what level it was. And I find it interesting that generally NDPs get painted as the spenders, not the responsible ones. And I wonder, one, what can we do to re-message that we believe in fiscal responsibility? I love how you worded it, that it's not for the sake of making the richer rich, but be responsible so then we can then spend responsibly. And I think we need to do a stronger way on messaging that. Secondly, I'm wondering, do we need to look at rebranding? Would that get us back into the rural vote? Interested in thoughts on that. Natasha, that uh, that uh, let me let me just say a quick word about your last comment. And I know that there is um, there's always uh, uh, and there currently is discussion about uh, do we need to, to rebrand? We've watched. Um, I mean, we we watched the Sask Party, the SPs, uh, do this uh, quite effectively. We watched uh, the reformers and the conservatives do this uh, quite effectively. I have not yet reached the point where I believe that it is inevitable that we need to rebrand. Now we have some like like you know some historic challenges. I um, I observe we have some challenges with our relationship with the federal party and um, positions taken sometimes by the federal party uh, that make life uh, challenging uh, for us. But I'm not quite there that we need uh, the rebrand. We do, I think, um, and it's kind of easy for me to say, you know, I, I, I say to my friend Roy Romano, he and I are sort of like those two old guys on the Muppets, if you remember the Muppets, those two old guys who used to sit up in the, up in the gallery and boy, we, we know all the answers when we're sitting up here. Um, um, no, I don't know why I said that, but-, but um, <laughs> I love the reference. <laughs> it's who we are now. A anyway, it's, it, I say it's easy for me to say, it's easy for me to, you know, from the, from the, from the balcony, uh, give advice. Um, but we do, I think, need to uh, know some of our own record, know some of our own history, and not be afraid, not be afraid, uh, to take on those, uh, those kind of arguments that the SAS party makes, to hit, meet them head on. Um, let, let's be, uh, because we've got a huge amount to be proud of in the governance of this province over the years. I mean, you, you can go back, uh, you can go back to, you know, Everyone understands how we brought this problem to Medicare, we brought it to human rights, we brought it to the Arts Board, and just it, it was on and on. So we ought not to be apologetic. We're sometimes too apologetic of our own history and practice, and we just need to stand up for that. I think we need to stand up for, um, uh, for fiscal sustainability. That's, uh, and it's inevitable. You know, when we were in government, when we came to government in 91, the, the third largest expenditure of government at that time, after health and education, was interest on the public debt. And I haven't checked what it is now, but I'll tell you, it's it's taking it's robbing from the people of Saskatchewan their tax dollars into the bankers and the bond dealers in New York and Central Canada, um, resources that we could be using to benefit the quality of life here. So, um, I think there's strong argument for fiscal responsibility, um, and we we uh, and, and as we can, as we can, and I know again we have challenges with with the party and the money and so on. But as we can, we need to communicate with ourselves. We need to uh, do more of this kind of, I hope, more of this kind of conversation and, um, and, uh, and strengthen ourselves for the, steal ourselves uh, for the battles 